Hello, everybody. Are you ready to go to the second dungeon, finally? Me too. Let's play. We just restarted time, and now we are now on a first day, brand new, fresh start. This is South Clock Town. To get to North Clock Town, of course, you gotta go back this way. And it's probably best to go around this way. Of course, there's the North. Talk to the guard. This is the way to the mountains. Now, you are going to need arrows, so let's go around to the blades of grass and see if we can find us some arrows. We got arrows. And some bombs. You'll need bombs, too. Did I find any bombs? I, yes, I did. That should be enough to get us started. Down here... I'm already taking care of you. You need to go on to... Where am I going here? I'm going this way. There it is. You're looking for that little uphill climb. Go up here... to the other side. Oh. Not yet. And then up here. And you can't cross because of the ice, but there is something you can do about it. Now, you see that? You can see target that and hit it a couple of times. After two hits, falls down and shatters the rest of the ice. Your pathway is now clear. Keep going up the mountain. Watch out for the spiders that come out of the snow. You might recognize those from the Ocarina of Time game. If it gets in your way, just blast it. Okay, now these big snowballs here, they usually contain hidden items here, but... That's not what we're going to be using our bombs for. You can pick those things up and chuck them if you need to. Or you can just swipe it with your sword like this, or you can roll into them like I just did a, long, a bit ago. Going around here, and you'll notice that your way is now blocked with giant snowballs. Get out your bombs, and blast them! Yeah! Explosions! Boom! There you go. And you can still roll into trees, if you can, Link. Best to get it head on. Head on, apply directly to the floor. Okay. Probably be best to take off your bunny hood for more precision. Ah, fuck it. And I want to show you trees. I want to show you dungeons. Yeah, come on. Alright, I got more arrows. Granted, I took a lot more damage than I usually do in killing that thing, but fucking hell. Alright. I don't think anything... Yeah, you could go around it, but you know what? There's nothing really here that you need. Our way is right up here. Now, welcome to the Mountain Village. You're going to spend a lot of time over here. Just to show you a few things around the area, this is where you come in. There's a log cabin over here where they reforge your sword. We're not going to do that this time because we're not ready yet. Over there is a frozen Goron wearing a mask. Now, one of these boulders, or one of these giant snow boulders, will contain a frozen Goron, and it's usually right there. But that's not the one we're looking for right now. You're looking for the frozen Goron that's trapped inside of a snowball. He will teach you a song. Strike that thing and you have a new warp point. You don't have to go through all that nonsense again to get here. Now around this way are the floating frozen ice platforms. That will lead you over to the cave at the top where you get to do lots of things. Let's go in ahead and show you what we came here for. We're going to go this way. 
Now this is the way that leads to the Goron village. That time I didn't take any damage. But you will need as many of these items as possible, so start collecting across the bridge. I'm on a quest. I would kill you later. There's another one coming up here, so watch out. In through the cave. And you arrive at the Goron village. Now, we're not after... We're not going inside there yet. That's where the main Gorons live. This is right in there. But you can't go in there because the ground is frozen. And guess what? There's another Deku salesman. We'll show you that later. What I'm after is this section here. There's Kipora Gabora. <coughs> blah, blah, blah. Proceed. Yes. Now he's going to lead you across the way, across the chasm, to the cave on the other side. Be, be Pay attention to where his feathers fall. It's best to take off your bunny hood for this. Okay, where those feathers are... Oh! Okay, wrong angle. Talk to him again. See, that Mario would have been dead. He would have been start started all over again. But this is Link we're talking about, and he can take it. He doesn't mind being in high places. Okay, where is the feathers? Okay. Right where the feather is, jump and land. Jump and land. Repeat the process, just jump from feather to feather. Do it before they disappear, too, because they will fade away. To that one, and to that one. You made it. Let him fly away, now go inside that cave. And... You will be... Amazed at what you will find now. Lots of bombs. Might as well collect a few extras. Let's go inside that box and grab, you guessed it, the Lens of Truth. This will enable you to see hidden items and platforms and objects and things. You remember that one from the original Ocarina of Time game. So get out some bombs and let's some start blowing up some of these rocks. One for you. And there you have it. Now, you can actually test out your Lens of Truth and watch out, this thing does use magic. Look at that. Well, since that's a spider up there and I got arrows and a Lens of Truth, just fire it right there. That's the surefire way to kill him. Just fire an arrow at him. You get 20 rupees there. Let's get rid of these plants. Okay, you're definitely going to need that because the magic jars will help re keep your uh, magic on top of things. So what's in here? 50 rupees. We can use them. Is there anything else that we need? No? Let's be on our way then, no. Okay, let's be on our way. Pick up an extra magic jar just to be on the safe side. And one more bomb, just in case we need it. Let's head outside. And now, put on your mask of truth, or your lens of truth. There you go. Now you can see the ice blocks. Hop from block to block. Make sure you do not wear your bunny hood on this. And look at that. That shadow you once saw when you came over here is now occupied by a ghost. Let's talk to him. Yes, I can see you. Now is the time to put back on your bunny hood. No, bunny hood. Roll into the snowballs so that you can continue to give chase. And we caught up to him. It's not a race, though. You just have to keep up with him. We'll do some plenty more racing after this course is done. Right now, we're just following the guy. Out of my way. I'm following a ghost. Oh, crap. 
Follow, follow, follow. Boring, boring. Fuck you. Boring, 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 boring. Eventually, he'll lead you right to the door. Just walk up to him, and then the cinematic will take over. Hit out the door. Okay, now where did he go? Up, oh, no. Damn, buttons are too close together. There he is, across the bridge. Okay, walk up to him and then just follow him right along. Uh, yeah. That's okay, just walk your way around here. Until you get to where you can go topside again. Uh, ooh, there it is. And there that is. Up the ramp. He might have beaten him here, let's see. Nope. I think, maybe. I don't want to leave. I don't see him. Okay, so take the bunny hood off while you're following him. I don't know. Did I did I lose him? Did he lose me? What oh there he is. See him? It took him this long to fly his ass over here. Look at that. Dude, I was waiting for you. Where the hell have you been? Don't you know magic jars are crucial in this game? There you go. Okay, now he's waiting for us. Follow him around this way. <coughs> now there's that shadow. And there's the mask. Or the lens, I mean. Follow his ghost again. This is the boring part of it. It does get better, though. Just gotta bear with it. Okay, now he's gonna go and fly up there. We know for a fact he's going up there. These are slippery, too. You will lose your footing. Let's take out the uh, lens for the moment. Nope, couldn't make it. Ooh, that water's cold, isn't it? Cold, 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 cold. Can you imagine swimming in this water? Link doesn't care. He doesn't feel pain. Except when he falls from tremendous places. Now, there are several different pathways you can make. I made it, yes. Now, when you get to the other side, put on your lens of truth. You'll notice that there are ladders there. Now, watch the pattern. We're going to go up. Then right. Then up. Then left. Then up. And then right again. And up. And that will take you right to the top. So remember that pattern. Now, don't worry about the ghost. He's waiting for us over there. Talk to this Goron. He'll tell you that... Uh, he was doing something up here, he got frozen. His partner got frozen too. They're cold. Now, put on your lens of truth and he'll lead you inside that cave. You have to remember to put on that lens of truth before you go in there. He still has to lead the way. And here you are. Put on your lens of truth again. Talk to the Goron. Tells you that he got killed. Shows you a little cinematic of what he was like, I guess. Heal my sorrows. Okay, that's when you'll see the cinematic. Okay, so remember the song of healing. <coughs> you will use this a lot in this game. Now you take him to a flashback sequence. They're either cheering him, or they're exiling him, or praising him. From the looks of it, it looks like he's being killed by them. But in reality, 
He's being healed now. All of his sorrows are going away in a puff of gold glitter. And guess what? You get to change into... Goron Link. Pick up the mask. And you now have the ability to change into a Goron. And I think that'll do it for this video. Tune in next time and I'll show you what to do from here. This is Sonic Blue Darkfold. See you next time.